Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Weekly Energy Update for the week of August 20th, 2023. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I'm coming to you from beautiful Bozeman, Montana. Every Sunday, I share the energy for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so we get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And I am up early recording today because I'm going to a car show this morning. They closed down Main Street in Bozeman and all the classic cars are out and it's just fun to walk around and check them all out. So I am up and at them early today recording so I can go do that. Every time a zodiac season wraps up, the universe hits the reset button. And after the sun has spent the last month in Leo, it's moving into the sign of Virgo on Wednesday the 23rd and we're hitting the reset button. Virgo is the last sign of the summer season, I'm sorry to say. We've been enjoying a fun in the sun summertime with Leo season for a while, but now it's time to kick things into high gear. Back to school energy is in the air. So during the next month, we'll be feeling the energies associated with Virgo, such as being productive, hardworking, and a perfectionist. Virgo is the most perfectionist sign ever. And this big change in energies impacts all of us. This is the season when we'll feel the most productive and energetic. Virgo season is our golden chance to do something productive and get our routine back on track. It's all about achieving balance in our day-to-day schedule. I always think of Virgo season as back to school time. We're saying goodbye to summer and getting ready for fall. We're planning our schedules. We're organizing our space. We're refreshing our wardrobe, maybe buying some back-to-school clothes. The everyday tasks of getting organized are what this time is all about. Virgo season helps us reimagine our regular hustle in a way that makes us feel more centered and grounded. Virgo is an earth sign that's all about self-improvement, and you might get a sudden urge to complete all those things that you've been neglecting. Or not. Because this Virgo season also coincides with Mercury in retrograde. Dun, dun, dun. And it's a little trickier than usual to get into a solid daily routine right now. Mercury rules Virgo, and Mercury going retrograde on the same day that Virgo season starts makes us feel like a kid being dragged back into school after an epic summer break. We don't want summer to end, we don't want to go back to our adult responsibilities. In a regular Virgo season without a Mercury retrograde, it would feel great to get organized right now. But this year it may feel like a drag and we may have to buckle down a little. Right now we just need to keep calm and Virgo on. That means we'll just do our best to grind it out and find new ways to be more efficient. It may not always be easy, but you've totally got this. What you don't want to do is judge yourself for not being as organized and together this year as you've been in other years. Normally, this time of year helps us feel more centered because we're back to a routine and we're organized. We're going to have to work harder to feel centered this year, not because we're doing something wrong, but because the planets in the universe have something else to focus on this year. We're getting the opportunity to practice being centered. Sure, it's harder with certain energies to feel balanced, grounded, and centered, but that isn't an excuse to not do it. The more we practice being centered in the harder times, the better we get at it. It's a piece of cake to stay balanced when everything's going right. It takes practice and a little more work to stay balanced when it seems the world feels off kilter. It's as if we're runners and every day we run the same three miles on a flat track. And then one day we run three miles, but with hills. Running the hills makes us stronger runners. We're using different muscles. We're breathing harder. And when we go back to running the flat three miles, it seems so much easier. So our back to school prep that we're going to do this Virgo season is about staying balanced and grounded. And there are three easy ways to do this. The first one is to breathe. Just take a few minutes every day to meditate, to pray, or maybe sit in a quiet space being mindfully present and just focusing on your breath. Breathing for five minutes a day will help you enjoy this time so much more. That's easy. Five minutes of breathing a day. The next is to be present. 
Focus on the present moment. Don't think about the future. Notice how in the present moment, everything is fine. Everything is okay in the present. We start to spin out when we're not present and we're thinking and worrying about the future. You will enjoy this time so much more by being present. And the last thing is to pay attention. Pay attention to your emotional state and how you're feeling. The second you notice that you're out of balance, stop, breathe, and bring yourself back to the present moment where everything is fine. Paying attention is where most of us get off track. We aren't paying attention to how we're feeling when we numb ourselves in all the ways. The drinking, the drugging, the overeating, the next Netflix binging, the working too much, even focusing on our to-do list. So to enjoy this Virgo season, the key is to breathe, be present, and pay attention. Also, Virgo is the sixth sign of the zodiac, and it's associated with the sixth house of wellness and daily routine. We also have this strong Neptune and Mars energy happening right now, and all of this energy helps us focus on our health. This is the time to make health more a part of your daily routine. Add more exercise to your daily routine. Maybe by going to the gym before work or signing up for classes, maybe meeting up with friends to walk a couple days a week, or maybe buying a treadmill or a bike. It's easier than usual to get back into a workout and diet routine right now. If you're already feeling tired and disoriented, like you're just not yourself, there's a good chance we can blame it on Mercury retrograde. Mercury is a planet of cognitive function. And when it's spinning backward, it has a way of making your brain work twice as hard in order to function. Although Mercury retrograde is basically universally despised, we all hate it, right? It's important to remember that this experience truly is not the end of the fucking world. After all, it only takes place three to four times a year, which means that Mercury retrograde is a very familiar experience to us, and it's an integral part of our soul journey. This particular Mercury retrograde gives us the opportunity to go back to the basics and rebuild our universe. It's time to make things a little more organized and efficient, to simplify and focus on building a life that keeps you centered and balanced. Let's also remember that Mercury is considered the trickster planet, and when it's retrograde, Mercury finds a little joy in making our lives really inconvenient. There are often delays, frustrations, and miscommunications, issues with our tech during a Mercury retrograde that gives us an opportunity to practice remaining centered no matter what is happening. It's also traditionally not the most ideal time to sign contracts or make any life-altering decisions. By that same token, though, this doesn't mean you need to live in fear. Sometimes you really have no choice but to say, screw you, Mercury retrograde, and just go on with your life. So if you do feel the urge to get organized, take advantage of that energy while you have it. It very well may be that we're productive and we get a lot of stuff done for a couple hours. Then we feel like doing nothing for the rest of the day. That's okay. Just go with it. Breathe. Be present. And pay attention. And that is it for the week. I'm super excited to announce that this week I am launching a women's wisdom circle that will be starting in September. This summer has been transformative. We've had an entire summer to reevaluate our lives and we're different people now than we were in May. The wisdom circle is a deep dive into being the best new versions of ourselves, including living our purpose, increasing our connection, loving our lives, etc. So I'll be releasing more details about it this week and the number of people will be limited. So if you're interested, be sure to sign up right away to save your place. So as always, thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing this podcast with a friend you think may find value in it. Have a wonderful week and I will talk to you again next week.